Fur boys, it's getting chilly out there. Uh, that time of year, a little frost on the windshield. Uh, the temperature's dropping. It's about zero degrees right now. Few good signs that winter's coming, the snow's coming, fall is done. It's time to switch my hat out here. I was down at the other shop. They've got all the new gear in, and I kind of that time of year where I go and pick myself up a new my new Skidoo toque for the year. I've got a nice bright red Skidoo X Team one. But yeah, she's getting a little chilly in the morning here. Just on my way to work, let the Jeep warm up. Um, let's chat a few things here on the go uh, with sled. A few signs that uh, sledding season, we're going to get lots of snow this year and sledding season's coming. Um, Skidoo has all the uh, ads, all the commercials out. Let me grab my phone here. Pretty cool to see. This first one here, the 2016... Skidoo West commercial never stop pushing ad. Like I said, we've got, we've been PDI and sleds and getting all the snow check models out for the last uh, couple weeks. Uh, lots on the go at the shop. Guys getting pre-seasons done, getting their sleds ready, getting the older ones fixed up, picking up the new ones. We just had our intro introduction to Avalanche course. So this has been going on for about, uh, I think it's the last three years, fellow from out west comes and uh, and it's sponsored by BRP. Dean puts it on here at the shop. Uh, we spend the evening having donuts, coffee, and talking about avalanches and awareness and how to use your gear and all types of safety stuff like that. It's not your actual certified uh, accredited courses. Um, the fellow that comes out, Jeremy Hankey, just an awesome guy, uh, travels all around. You might see him at the sled shows and stuff like that. I think his website's www.soulrides.ca or .com. You have to Google them, Jeremy Hankey or Soul Rides. Anyways, he does, he puts on all the courses um, if you are interested in getting them. This little session that we did here is just what they call the introduction to avalanche. So it's just to make you aware of what's going on out west if you're uh, riding the mountains this year with your buddies, um, about getting guides, using your equipment, uh, just kind of understanding how all the avalanche reports work on the websites and stuff like that. Just to get kind of just get you an idea of what's it what's all involved with riding out in the mountains it was a really awesome course um really hands-on this year he showed us a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in the uh how to use your equipment the different bags that are out there uh things with the probes which probes he likes had us trying to actually pull the stuff out of the bag and see, okay, so you've got your probe, your shovel, everything in the bag, can you actually use it? Just a really great course, and he's really, really relaxed. Sledder, snowmobile guy, just easy to talk to, and it was a great night. I want to thank him again for coming out, and again, Dean, and for putting it on. And uh, I like going every year, and you just you always learn something each year heading out to the mountains. Now... Avalanche awareness was done. The other thing we had on the go, I've been getting lots of comments on it lately. I'll just Google it up here. Is the free ride demo that we built last year, the 156, the free ride 146 that we turned into a 156 inch, uh, put the T3 package into it. Um, Dean had her out in the mountains about uh, three or four times last year. Worked really well for him. He had a, a few suspension setups that he had to play with, but it ran well. We had a diamond port can on it, all that type of stuff. Guys were asking for some updates on it. Simply put, I just didn't get any good GoPro footage of it. I didn't get out to the mountains last year, um, and we just didn't get enough footage. Uh, Asta, he's got that great um, drone. He might have got a few clips of it, but we'll try. Guys, we're going to run that sled again this year. Um, and we'll try, if I get out there, I'll make sure I take my camera and get some good clips of it. Or if Austin's out there, I'll see if he can uh, grab some stuff. Or Dean, if he can get some better GoPro footage. We've got some new cameras coming to try out, so we'll try that. But anyways, it worked well. It was a bit expensive to set up. We had to get that custom axle built for it. Uh, the track was expensive. It's really neat that it's in the free ride, so we've got the upgraded suspension. But shortly after we built that thing, that's when Skidoo came out with the t3 package in the 154 so really economical it kind of kind of defeated the purpose of that machine because you can now buy this 154 summit 
in the T3 package, but of course it's still the free ride with the suspension. It's a unique sled, and uh, we're going to look at, uh, he's going to run it again this year. We'll get it serviced up and ready to go. So you guys, I will get some more video up of that and uh, and try to get you some updates on that. But thanks for all the comments on it. It was a fun fun project to be a little bit involved with and uh, be nice to do some more stuff to it. Skidoo's got a new test factory or new test site going on. You hear rumors about this all the time. Be interesting to see. It'd be neat to turbo that one, uh, turbo that free ride. Be interesting to see what they're working on at their test facility. I think we're going to see some really neat cool stuff come out this year. Anyways, guys, I think my Jeep's warm. I better get to work and uh, get working on stuff. I want to thank you guys for watching all the videos. Um, lots more to come. Sledding right around the corner here. Uh, a few mud projects on the go. Dave's got his 6x6 six six and he's got another build he's talking about. So, again, thank you guys and stay tuned.